I, I don't know what it is. There's just something about getting ready to go fishing every morning. The anticipation of a new day, new conditions, entirely new fish pattern out there to, to get into. The excitement is great every morning. Don and I started fishing together in 1989 before the dolphin tagging started. Uh, we were fishing on a Grady White and we enjoyed it. We had a good time. Any place we could go fishing, we wanted to go. I started fishing with Don and Alan in 1995. Uh, we used to go out there and catch a lot of fish. Lost quite a few also, but we always had a good time and always told a lot of jokes while we were out there. Since 2003, the Killin' Time 2 fishing team has embarked on 165 outings out of Kudjo Key to tag and release small, healthy dolphin fish for the Dolphin Fish Research Program. It is just a short run offshore over a fairly narrow reef shelf to prime dolphin fishing habitat. Typically, right when the X the reef break, the hunt is on and can begin catching dolphin as shallow as 98 feet of water. On this outing on June 8, 2018, Killing Time 2 tagged and released 76 dolphin. These points are where along their vessel track they were drifting and catching fish. Zooming in on this activity, you get a better idea of some of the drift tracks along a sargassum line where fish were abundant. These blue ovals indicate where the team tagged their first fish per location. And in this particular location, they were able to remain with the school for an hour and tag and release 31 dolphin. And from this school, two individuals went on to be recaptured 23 days later on the same day, only 9 miles apart off the Outer Banks of North Carolina. These arrows indicate the minimum distance between locations when the distance is divided by the time at liberty for these fish, they travel an average of 36 miles per day together. This example is just one of many examples that the Killin' Time 2 fishing team has provided the world and scientific community into the life history, movements, and ecology of this amazing species. We're coming up on our 3,000 tagged fish, which has been a real trip. To handle that many small fish and, re and release them alive, it's been awesome. So what does 3,000 releases look like? These blue dots represent releases animated over the past 17 years, while the yellow dots represent recaptures that have accumulated from their effort. This is just the Florida Straits. Zooming out, you can see recaptures accumulate up the eastern seaboard, down to the Bahamas, and one fish was even reported recaptured in the Caribbean Sea. This tremendous effort has resulted in 135 recaptures, or 20% of all recaptures generated for the program, and represents the largest private recreational fishing team contribution to our knowledge of the species. We got involved to learn more about dolphin. Dolphin's what we always fish for, and in the 90s, early 90s, we used to catch more dolphin per trip, larger dolphin, than we do today. Now, while our equipment and tackle and fishing techniques have gotten better, we were concerned why there weren't the bigger dolphin that we used to catch. We wanted to know why. So the only way we could figure out is to participate in a program to learn about the travel patterns, the growth rates, and the disbursement of the dolphin population. This was the key item that we wanted to learn about. Combine their data with thousands of other program participants, and we were able to describe the northerly movements of dolphin fish along the U.S. East Coast and more. So not only was their time on the water productive, it was also a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, over the years, you know, uh, we we get kind of quirky and uh, got Don, who's a little bit of a country boy, so we made up a little uh, country uh, ditty that we sing every time we go out to sea, and it goes like this. Killing time, killing time, out here, killing time. Killing time, killing time, out here, killing time. Got Daryl, Don, and Alan, too, out here, killing time. Maybe we'll catch a fish or two out here, killing time. The only thing I hate more than Daryl's song is Don and that dad gum horn. He's dead overhead. They're right under us now. I can only put you on them, Daryl. I can't make you catch them. And as luck would have it, after five hard days of fishing off the Keys in early August, Killing Time 2 fishing team chipped away at the 42 fish needed to reach their 3,000 tagged fish. And at 3.05 p.m. on August 9, 2018, Daryl Williams caught the lucky fish, and they worked together as a team to tag and release it, celebrate it amongst each other, and headed back to port proud of their amazing accomplishment. And so the journey begins to the next major milestone, one that will serve as another inspiration to all of us. Beyond Our Shores is a U.S. registered nonprofit that is dedicated to the enhancement and conservation of marine fisheries and ocean habitats in the coastal communities they support. 
Donations made to Beyond Our Shores can ensure that the Dolphin Fish Research Program continues to provide fishermen and their families the opportunity to participate in meaningful marine and fishery science research.